mit dem Song Greenfield Festival 2016 und habe jetzt den Sänger von Bolli von meinem Valentine, nämlich der Matt, der an mir hockt. Nice to have you here, nice to have you in Greenfield, Interlaken, Switzerland. Yeah, man, good How to be back. You? I'm good, man. You good? Yeah, pretty good. Oh, very good, very good. fantastic. Yeah, man. I saw that you were at the uh, Rock and Ring uh, and Rock and Park uh, the last days, but you went yeah. back to London and came back here again. Could yeah. you like cool off a few days? Yeah, I just had the opportunity to go home and just chill out and have normality, you know, other than just stay in a hotel in the middle of nowhere. So I just jumped on the plane and went home. So normality yeah, means to you just, you know, being back in London, I guess? Yeah, yeah just picking up the kid from school, making dinner, you know, sleeping in your own bed, just stuff that, you know, opportunities that when you're on the road for as long as we are, you just, yeah. you grab them with both hands, you know. So you're actually there, like, cooking a really, really real big warm meal for your son and for your... Yeah, for, for the your, family and yeah. just having downtime and sleeping, like, just those, those, those matters, those things really matter for us, you know. It just, it so, just, yeah. it just feel good. Also, yeah. der Matt ist ja natürlich auch im Rock am Ring, Rock im Park, sie, wo es abgegangen ist wie nichts und ist jetzt äh, doch ein paar Tage noch die Heime gsi. Hat dort man kann einfach die normalen Sachen im Leben angehen, zum Beispiel einfach mal ein bisschen Essen machen für seine Familie oder einfach auch mal nicht müssen in einem Hotel aufwachen und entsprechend äh, gerade wieder auf Tour und weiter äh, Konzert geben. Und jetzt ist er aber da in Interlaken in der Schweiz und äh, man wissen, was er eigentlich so ein bisschen an der Schweiz oder was von der Schweiz eigentlich grundsätzlich halt tut. Now you're back here from London to Switzerland. Äh, is it just another place, another city, another a concert, or is it more than that? If you, when you come to Switzerland, do you have anything that kind of, uh, you know, puts you, you know, it makes Switzerland special for you? Well, yeah, we, we've been lucky enough to play this festival about four times now. I think mm -hmm. this will be our fourth time. So, you know, to be asked to come back, you know, every couple of years is amazing. You know, what I mean, it means a lot to us that we keep on getting invited to these events. Um, yeah, and it's it's a great time, man. You know, we we always have a great time in Switzerland. We've uh, whoops. Opa. <laughs> we've, uh, I think a couple of years ago when we visited here, we had a day off before the festival as well, and we did like orbing and paragliding. And oh, really? A kind of bunch of extreme sports stuff. I could never great, go paragliding. You know? I'm really afraid of heights. It's, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, yeah, it was pretty scary, but you know, it was, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, we, you know, we, we have very fond memories of hanging out here. Also, sie haben äh, auch schon da ein paar Festivals die spielen am Greenfield, das verbindet sie vor allem mit der Schweiz auch. Und äh, normalerweise sind sie aber auch noch einen Tag vor der Zeit gehabt, um ein paar Sachen zu unternehmen, unter anderem einfach ein bisschen go, äh, go wandern oder auch paragliden. Etwas, äh, ich kenne es bestimmt, das ist das, wo man mit dem ganzen Segel eigentlich dann durch die Luft fliegt und ganz, ganz weit oben ist, auf, auf, unter anderem da kann auf das Festivalgelände runterschauen. Also eigentlich ganz, ganz eine spezielle Sache. Äh, Im 2015 ist ihr das Album Venom rausgekommen von Bali von Valentine und äh, sie sind eigentlich immer noch mit dem jetzt unterwegs am Touren und es ist doch auch schon Lange Zeit. Um, now you had your album out in 2015, yep. Venom, Bullet from a Valentine, and uh, you've been a long way now. You just said it before, you've been touring a long time, and it's good to have time off from that. But uh, Venom is, you know, Schlange gift in German, and it's, uh, you know, it's a word for something bad, you know, like you say, it's, it's poison, isn't it? Yep. So it's, uh, the question is, what is the Venom in touring then? I mean, it looks to me like you, you had a lot of time touring right now and it's, mm -hmm. there's a lot of venom in it, but what is like the, the worst thing about touring? Um, I, think, I think the worst thing is just, just being away from, from your loved ones, you know, just having normality, you know, kind of we, what we do is very intense. We're away from long periods of time. So everything that, everyone that just works normal jobs and goes home every night, that finds that certain things boring, like going shopping, grocery shopping and cooking dinner, and like washing the car, I love that stuff. Really? Yeah, because just it's the, for that, you know, those things, they, it, it's not something I get to do when I'm on tour, you know, and those are the things that connect me to being home. So, you know, when I'm go, that's a, the worst thing about being in a band like this is just, just being away from, from home, really. Everything else is amazing, you know, we travel the world with my best friends playing music. You know, there's, there's nothing really bad about it. It's just, you know, if you have a family like all of us do now, it just makes it a little bit more kind of emotional, you know? But could you imagine ever, uh doing the like the normal job you know nine to nine to five job well yeah be able to go home every night you know and do the yeah washing we, the car we all we all did it before the band got signed so we've all yeah. had experiences of, of, of working normal nine to five style jobs and stuff but no you know i wouldn't want to go back to it if i had the choice you know yeah. so working this hard is just you know enforcing the fact that you know we we we're lucky enough to do this, so we, we take it very seriously, you know. Okay. Also, äh, er hat gesagt, das größte Gift, eigentlich so Schlangengift, wie ja der Titel auch vor dem Album ist, grundsätzlich am äh, Tour leben, dass man äh, einfach weg ist von seinen Geliebten, also von seiner Familie, von den Leuten, die man grundsätzlich gerne hat. Und deswegen macht es ja umso mehr Spass, wenn man darf dann äh, nach kommen, abwaschen, das Auto waschen, äh, die Leute abholen von der Schule und so. Sachen, die vielleicht dann andere Eltern die nicht mehr so gerne machen, weil es einfach eine tagtägliche Sache ist. Er macht es natürlich gerne, wenn er sich aber entscheiden könnte, 
ob es jetzt das eine oder das andere sollte sein, dann hat er gesagt, er hätte schon mal noch vielleicht einen 0815 Job gehabt, aber äh, er würde es nicht mehr wieder hergeben, weil er jetzt dafür eigentlich am Tour sein und dafür eigentlich die ganze Welt gesehen als äh, Rockstar, als äh, in einer Rockband ähm, ja, beteiligt, grundsätzlich als eigentlich Sänger von Ballet von Valentine. And, um, you do live in London right now, but the, yep. the band Bullet from Valentine is originally from uh, Wales. Correct. And uh, it's a big summer coming up. I'm not sure. I mean, uh, football yeah, is, it a, big, is um, it a big thing for, for your band? Uh, not for the band, no. We, we, we all grew up being rugby fans. Really? Yeah. When, is that when a bigger thing in, in Wales? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. really? In They Wales, yeah. When, right. when you go to school in Wales, like rugby is drilled into you from a very early age. Football, you know, you play football uh, in games and, uh, you know, in school and stuff like that. But not many people carry it on after that. Everyone goes to like professional rugby, if anything. So. All right. So not a lot of footballs, except Gareth Bale and Ryan Giggs. Like yeah. The big but now being in the Euros now, I yeah. think that that'll be a great thing for for Wales and for Welsh football. You know, because it's not something Wales has ever excelled in. So I guess that's probably why it hasn't been that big of a deal. But uh, yeah, it's starting to starting to come up a little bit now because they're getting some success, and obviously players like Gareth Bale are uh, you know taking it up to another level, which is great. But will you be watching? I will be watching. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we've got the the England game coming up. Yeah, that's so, big, so that's yeah. you know the Welsh yeah. England rivalry in general is yeah. is intense, you know. So I we'll don't want to say, that. but I am originally from England, so I'm like oh, more in the England side. It's so all good, man. Go now. Well, it's got to be like it's just competition, isn't it? We <laughs> exactly. won't be like hitting each other right now here in front of the camera, will we? <laughs> anyway, well that's good. But now one more question to the end. Um, I'm never really you know experienced like somebody having somebody from a band that's originally from Wales. Is it like one thing that like only people from Wales do? Um. I don't think so. I don't think there's anything unique about Welsh people and what they do. But we, we you know, we have our own, we have our own language, which is kind of cool. Um, and just, you know, the people are, are just very, very down to earth and, and welcoming and nice. And but I guess most people are around the world these days, you know. But, but you know, it's very green. It's very nice. It's a, it's a beautiful place to grow up. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't have changed it for the world. All right, well, awesome. that, very nice in the end. But now you're going to have a day here in Switzerland. Hope yep. you can have a good concert on stage later on. A lot yeah, of man. good fans, you know, partying. And the sun's out now, so it's going to be yes. a great day anyway. Yeah, man. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Uh, well, thanks for being here. And right, um, see you again soon. Hopefully. Cool. Bye.